Hello everyone, my name is Stefan and welcome back to the French Cooking Academy. Today we're going to try to tackle the problem of sauté potatoes and how to get them right. Now, if you've ever been to a cafe or bistro in France or somewhere else, have you ever wondered how these guys manage to kind of serve you on the table these near-perfect, crispy, uh, pan-fried potatoes mixed with garlic, onion and maybe a dash of parsley on top? You know, they always look the same and you may order them over and over and they're always the same. Same. And you're wondering what's their actual secret? Well, you know what? That's exactly what we're going to try to find out today. So in order to get your sauté potatoes uh, always the same, to have that continuity, because this is the strength of a cook, is being able to deliver the same thing over and over and over again. This is the experience you get when you go to a restaurant or a cafe. Huh? And the one thing that these cooks are actually doing is selecting a specific type of ingredients. When it comes to sauté potatoes, you have to choose the right type of potatoes. So for today, we're making a bistro-style sauté potatoes with onion, and just some parsley with some salt and pepper. So very simple. But the most important is the selection of potatoes. As you can see here, I've got a baby royal blue, so yellow flesh style of potatoes, but most important, it says here, ideal for roasting. And this is the thing you need to look out for if you go to your supermarket or your market, ask for potatoes that are made for roasting, meaning that if you pan fry them, they're gonna be Perfect. So this is the first secret. You need to source the right type of potatoes. The second secret when it comes to preparing potatoes comes into the food preparation. So when the cook has chosen his potatoes, you got the right type, so you put the best chance on your side huh, to get something good. But the next thing that's important is how you're going to cut your potatoes. So as you can see here, uh, these are the ingredients I'm going to use. I've sliced some onion, chopped some parsley. And that's, you know, fairly standard. But the cutting of the potatoes is quite important. As you can see here, they all look the same. You see? They all look pretty much the same to the naked eye. And this is what I've done here. I've taken the potato, cut them in half, and then in half again. I'm just doing quarters. And this basically is going to ensure that I have the same amount of cooking in every single piece so they're gonna cook evenly and I know I will be in control that if I try one of the potato if it's cooked then the whole pan of potato will be cooked exactly the same and let's move on to the cooking for the cooking, when you make sauté potatoes, they usually have to be pre-cooked or part-cooked, whatever you call it, and you always start in cold water. All potatoes have to be cooked or pre-cooked starting in cold water. The reason for that is that if you start in boiling water, they're going to overcook on the outside and they're not going to be cooked enough in the inside. Salt, always add salt, it's up to 10 to 15 grams per liter of water. So don't worry about the salt, you can add a lot. When this is done, you put your heat on, on high and we're gonna bring this to the boil. This is how we pre-cook potatoes. It's also called blanching. And to know when it's ready, you're gonna wait for that water to reach the boil. When the boils arrive, when it reaches the boil, immediately we will turn the heat off and the potatoes will be ready to pan fry. Water is boiling. I'm gonna turn my heat off immediately and I'm gonna pass these into a sieve and let them dry in the sieve in that pan for just a few minutes before we can pan fry them. And now for the cooking or the pan frying of the potatoes now. Many people ask me what kind of pan do I like to use. Personally, for frying, I think a good old black steel pan like I've got here is absolutely perfect. I cannot complain. So you start on medium to high heat. Uh, I'm using peanut oil. And you make sure it's very hot when you add your potatoes and you add them all in. A bit of extra salt and pepper. And then again, give them a little toss. So be gentle. I'm gonna now leave this to cook on a kind of a high heat to get that brown coloring going for at least a good 10 minutes before I put the onion in. So once we get a bit of color going, we're going to be adding a little bit of onion. And from here, we're going to reduce the heat huh? because we got the coloring we want. You know, a little bit of yellowish, a little bit of brown. And we're going to reduce this to like a medium low to allow for the onion to cook. 
and your potatoes will be ready once the onions are cooked. So again, we're gonna toss everything very slowly in the pan. Making sure you mix the onion with the potatoes. And now for the final touch. So as you can see here, they look a bit boring, the potatoes, there's not much color. You can see the onions, but what really is gonna make them shine at the end is the parsley. So you can turn your heat off and you're gonna add a good amount of fresh parsley and that's gonna give that elegant touch to it and that freshness. Do a final toss and then you can serve. And there we have it. We've done some bistro style saute potatoes with onion and parsley. And uh, for the serving, there you go. They're basically just really uh, saute potatoes. You can serve them like this. If you want, you can add maybe some mayonnaise huh, if you want to try them out. So maybe I can pick one and a bit of mayo here. Hmm, always delicious. If you want, you can add a little bit of more parsley, for instance, on top, or even make them maybe Spanish style and having, you know, some uh, ground paprika on there. They're always, always delicious. But that's it for my video on sauté potatoes. I hope you've learned something today with all these little steps. And I like to say that I'm almost finished with the vegetable series for this week. Actually, the last episode is going to come on Friday with a big special vegetarian dish. So make sure you tune in and until then, have a good time.